Hundreds of people in Las Vegas held a vigil last night remembering police officer Charleston Hartfield. He was one of the 58 people killed in Sunday's massacre. Hartfield was a 16-year Army veteran with a wife and two children. The people who died range in age from 20 to 67. This morning, they are represented by 58 white crosses. Those crosses are placed along the Las Vegas Strip. The gunman, Stephen Paddock, booked a room in Chicago this summer at a hotel near Lollapalooza. That's one of America's largest music festivals. It could be a sign, officials believe, that Paddock was eyeing other cities and venues as targets. Vladimir Duty of our streaming network CBSN is outside the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino near the scene of the shooting. Vlad, good morning. Good morning. Investigators have been trying to reconstruct Stephen Paddock's movements in the days, weeks, and months before Sunday night's shooting spree. And a new AP report says law enforcement are looking into the possibility that Paddock was planning further attacks, including a car bombing. Two months before Stephen Paddock fired into a crowd of 22,000 country music fans in Las Vegas, a police source confirmed to CBS News Paddock booked two rooms at the Blackstone Hotel in Chicago. Paddock never showed up, but the hotel overlooks Grant Park, where Lollapalooza was taking place. The four day music festival attracted some 400,000 people, including Sasha and Malia Obama. At this weekend Chicago Marathon, police say security will be beefed up. We're putting a significantly larger number of undercover officers. They're going to be intermingled with the crowd. They're going to be around the runners. They're going to be at the finish line. They're going to be at the start line. CBS Boston station WBZ reports Paddock searched for hotel rooms near Fenway Park and concert venues in the city. There is no evidence he actually traveled to Boston. Massachusetts we, Governor Charlie Baker. Uh, we and many others are fully plugged in on that investigation, and there is no con there is no imminent threat to anything in Massachusetts anymore. Paddock's motive has so far eluded investigators, and one may never be found, says Randy Sutton, a 23-year veteran of the Las Vegas police. That's probably the most frustrating part of this investigation so far is that he doesn't fit the profile that we that anyone would have expected. Investigators are also looking at Paddock's gun purchases, especially the ones he made in November and December of last year. That's when he bought a shotgun in Las Vegas, a rifle in California, and a couple of handguns at another gun store in Nevada, Alex. Vlad, thanks.